Hello everybody, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Unknown or Enemy Within. Yeah, it's Enemy Within, isn't it? Yeah, as from the last episode uh, where we left off, I remembered to transfer some ships to different continents so we could actually shoot some fucking uh, UFOs down. And I researched some tech that I couldn't yet build and also getting some satellites made, which I believe is in the event queue. There it is, nine days away. So, let's just jump straight in from this and start scanning, shall we? Transfer complete. Okay. More research done. Some new... Aha! Laser sniper rifles. Tasty. Oh, at last, the laser shotgun. This is going to help a lot. And everything... Wow. Some of this research is slow. Let's go with alien nav computer, shall we? And let's get some laser guns. Uh, oh, actually, we don't have enough cash. <laughs> don't have enough cash for laser guns. So, yeah, that's good. Oh, what's this? A uh, request from Mother Russia. They want four Thin Man corpses, and I have eight in storage. I got a whole 40. Well, you know. 40 is better than nout, so there we go. Okay, there you go, Russia. Have fun with that. Commander, Aha! Is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it under right. order. Right, uh, this could help in de Oh, well, Canada's fucked, and it already has a satellite over it, so... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to put one above the UK. Satellite launched. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know. I'm a little bit biased there. I know, but I'm, I'm going to go with that one. But, uh, yeah, so... Right, we've got a satellite above the UK. We've got one above Canada. I really hope the next event happens somewhere in Canada, because if it doesn't, I'm going to lose that, that country. Satellite Nexus is now available for construction. What the fuck is that? Uh, does it? It's capable of receiving transfers from form four satellites, and it gets an extra satellite capacity for every adjacent uplink. Oh, well, that's really good. As soon as I've actually got some money, I guess I'll research that. In the meantime, I guess I'll research uh, some new armor. Aha! Oh, oh, there would have to be one over the UK, wouldn't there? Oh, frig. Scientists, 200 bucks, or oh, engineers, it's, I need the money. I'm sorry, Rio. This is just going to happen that way. Oh god, look at this. <laughs> this eclectic group. Right, so uh, at least we've got, yeah, we've got DJ, we've got Lou, God, Godonwana? Godon I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, let's give... Mr. Wanna here. Oh shit, I've actually gone and removed him. Um, see, Patel is the healer of the group, and Guzman is a sniper or lock. Um, is it Rebecca? No, it wasn't Rebecca. She's not in the unit at the moment. Um, she's not dead, is she? No, she can't be dead. Where the fuck is she? Is it Whiskey? Oh, there she is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right now. Uh, customize her. Oh no, shit. No, I'm doing this all wrong now. I'm clicking the wrong bloody buttons. Right, that's. Well, that. No. It's supposed to be the arc thrower, isn't it? Oh, she can carry two items. Well, well that is useful. That is very. No, no. No, I've done this wrong. Oh, I'm so noobish. I'm so noobish on that. I am so. I do apologize. Okay, right, so we've got. We've got Gypsy, and we've got Congo, Athena. Yeah, okay, right, let's go. Yeah, let's just skip that bit. Where are we going? Where are we going in all in the old UK, eh? Where are we going? The next Manchester. Ah, oh, can I change? I don't I don't want to fucking protect Manchester. Fuck those guys. It isn't a football thing, I just no, just no. Still like Manchester. Alright, so here we go. What's this? This does not look like the Trafford Centre. That is that is not the kind of fountain you'd see in the Trafford. Well, I mean, if there was a fountain like in the Trafford Centre, it probably there'd probably be like piss in it and you know rusty fucking coins thrown in there. Probably a few like carling cans, you know, fucking you know whatever cheap lager has been bought and tossed in there because you know that's what it's like in Manchester. Filthy, filthy Manchester. Moving. Ah, of course, I am messing around. Manchester is a very nice place to visit. 
As there's a lot of the North West actually, it's uh, Liverpool, that kind of area, Chester, very nice, very nice city to go to, a historical city. So yes, I uh, wholeheartedly encourage you, if you are taking a uh, holiday to, uh, to the United Kingdom, uh, check out the North West. Uh, it's, it's got some nice sights. Right, um, I'm not really paying attention to right, so we've got some meld. I mean, it's likely the aliens are going to be in this building. The aliens, they're likely to be over there, so. Gibbon Mish. Right, just put you on Overwatch, because hopefully, like, some aliens are just going to, like, blunder into me or something. That would be really, really nice of them. Okay. Any aliens? Any aliens about? Anyone? Anybody? No. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, oh. it's, always a, it's always a risky proposition. Because if there's anything in there, she goes into a pretty bad spot. So I don't... I'll you know, put her behind that bench, to be honest. Because I'd rather have Gypsy move up there than have anyone else, to be honest. So let's, uh, let's move Congo up alongside. And... Lou, who is squad support. Well, uh, if we do this the other way around, um, if I have Gypsy move over there, and then I can move Lou up to that spot, and that gives us a pretty good cut. See? I knew it! I knew if I ran over there! Guys, use the door! Ah, oh, he's so violent. Alright, um... I could take a shot. I got a whole 50%. Uh, alright, fuck it. Oh, yeah, it's a hit. And it's a kill. Nice. Alright, um, where is he? Oh, he's behind that van. He's behind that fucking white, white van man there. Moving at the speed of death. Moving at the speed of death. I love death. I'm moving at it. Go on, fucking di- Oh, shit. Sectoids. I'm not lying, I would really love a Transformers game in this kind of style. It would be fucking amazing. Go on, DJ! Go on, DJ! That's that's what we want to see. Right, okay. Now, obviously my plan was to move her over here. And the, a the aliens are going to move in, so we're going to put her in overwatch so she can at least give some covering fire. Right, now. Two of his mates are dead, so he's either going to run. Are these little fuckers on the around, they're going to take a shot, aren't they? Ah, no, she's flanked. Fuck. Looks like he smashes the door open. Oh, what's he doing? You nearly hit Gypsy. What are you doing? Uh, that is not good. Oh, what, your aim? That's no, terrible. Oh, then again. Yeah, th thanks for, you know, really showing the fucking high quality of the XCOM operatives there, guys. Uh, ow! Six damage. Fucking hell. Gonna need a rocket shot in a minute. Come on, Congo. No, that's a window, mate. Uh, yeah, I've, you know, I'm gonna call it. Oh, I'm gonna lose her, aren't I? No! Oh, thank God. Oh, let this turn end. I right, fuck off, you little big headed bastard. Ooh! Ow! Fuck! How many hit points has he got? Because he's got all that many left. He's got a panic in it. He's got one hit point. Oh, shit. Headshot. Wait, what's got the best chance for headshot? 64? Roll 64. Alright, just fucking shoot something. You're gonna miss, aren't you? Oh, oh you fucking star. Right, um... Yeah, she's gonna have to get there. And can smoke grenade this shit. Definitely gonna need some cover. Um, he can't get to him. So what we do is we need DJ to get over here. Because luckily none of them went into Overwatch. Because that would suck. All right. Uh, heal wounds. Uh, yeah. Heal his wounds. Yeah, except for all that health you're missing. But yeah, good as new. Alright. Aha! Alright, you alien bastards. Alright, okay. 
Yeah, fuck it. It's only Manchester. We're only blowing up a bit of it. We'll rebuild. Look at that. Pop. Dead aliens. That's, that's what we came in to see. Dead aliens. Alright. Go on, Gypsy. You've got a whole extra 1% than you did last time. Yes! Book of death. Alright. Okay. That's, that's good to bring it in. Bringing in the enemies. Okay, right, let's put you on Overwatch because it's nice to have a sniper on Overwatch. To be honest, everyone's going to be on Overwatch because, um, yeah, we're going to be healing. <laughs> we're going to do a lot of healing. A lot of the old healing going on. Uh, yeah, Overwatch. And uh, reload, I believe. Yeah, because you get a lot of ammo on that thing. Right, I think I can, yeah, I can probably get him back over there and I can use the other heal. Oh, look, the, the, I didn't even notice these cars driving around. I can get some Mel then, we've got Mel for a while. Oh. Ah, uh, it's the sneaky fuckers. Ah, uh, Stella shooting there again, guys. Oh, wow, just, just to, you know, really rub that in. Yeah, nice shot, and by that I mean fucking awful. Oh god, it's one of these rocket bastards. Oh, there you go. Full damage. There we go. That's what we want to say. Yeah. Dead. Dead. Got something over here. Stealth mode. I'll, I'll just throw a grenade in that direction. Ah, well, I know you're moving now because you just opened the door, dumbass. Overwatch. Um, oh, yeah, we do have a little problem, um, which is this guy over here. Um, you know what? Let's try it, because I don't think, we haven't caught one of these guys yet, have we? So, let's go for a stun. Stun chance apparently is only 49%. And we failed, so we're going to have to try and kill you now. 62%? He can do it. No, he can't. Oh, I fucking jinxed him, didn't I, with that one? No, there's no way, man. Right, we're going to have to die. Sorry. Watch. Um, collect the meld and um, I don't know if I run. You know, he's just got to go over watch. I just hope. I assume one's going to go for him because he's, he's way out on the flank. Come on! There we go. Missed. Nice, nice one, Jim. Uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for adding that parting shot at the end there. Athena. Yeah, God of War, my ass. Well, well, Athena, you got one more shot left in you there. Overwatch. Um, Heading to that location. Yeah, you go over there, Congo. I mean, if I get you closer, you actually have a tiny infinitesimal chance that you might actually hit something this year. Great. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh, nothing. Interesting. At least he can get over the healer. Good as new. There you go. Max health. There's no point in having him on Overwatch. He can't hit a fucking broadside of a barn, can he? I think last episode he was hitting stuff, and this episode he's just he's terrible. He's just like, he goes up and down, he's like a fucking um, bipolar disorder with his aim. Oh wow, they went for the sniper! And everybody missed. Wow. Well, that's her grabs. Right in front of you guys. You did that well. And by that I mean you didn't, you sucked. Come on. Well, that was that done. We got both canisters as well. Nice. That, that is an excellent rating. Excellent. So there we go. Winging our ba way back to our base in Africa. Africa just made sense as the base, to be honest. Right, let's see. So she's a corporal, so you can bullet, short, bullet swarm. So her standard shots uh, no longer end the turn if uh, taken as the first action. Oh, interesting. Or hollow targeting. Shoot at or suppressing enemies also confers plus 10 aim to allies' attacks on those enemies. I like the idea of bullet swarm actually. 
Okay, uh, he's, she, Gypsy's now become a captain, so repair servo so you can first two health recovery at the start of each turn. Total six immediate regenerated per battle. That's nice. Ah, although that is also useful. No, no, we're going to go with the self heal because I kind of use her as a as a sort of meat shield a lot. Close combat, he confers a reaction shot against any enemy who closes him with four tiles. Does not require overwatch. That's quite good. That is good for him because I do usually put him out on the on the far flanks. So DJ was gravely wounded, so he's out for five days, and Helen Wood is out for three days. And there are additional awards. We got a bunch of fragments and some wrecks. Population panic has increased in a bunch of places. That's not a surprise. Uh, panic in Argentina. Uh, yeah. Um, the council is requesting your attention. I mean, at least they'll shut up about the Falklands. Let's see. Our sources report a developing incident in Newfoundland up the coast from St. John's. The fishing village has gone dark, and reports from Intel source suggest alien involvement. We should send in a team to investigate the site and figure out just what happened. Rewards panic reduction. I can't really turn that down, can I? Still, I've got Gypsy. I've got I've got Congo. I've got uh, I've got Lou. I've got my sniper. I've got another assault, which is good to uh, to cover that miss. Uh, all we've got is Sergeant Warlock Guzman, who's a sniper. I don't think we need another sniper in the group, to be honest. Two is an overkill. Um, Olaf? What the fuck is Olaf? He's another assault. Uh, I think I'm going to customize again. I keep, look, I keep looking at loadout and going, uh, like a bloody idiot. I think he can give a... Oh, he's a squaddy, that's why. That's why he's just got the shotgun. Um, well, he can have the arc thrower then, and... Yeah, alright, there we go. Better shot, better armor, he's got a shotgun. He can run alongside um, Squaddy. Uh, good, uh, good on Wana. So, yeah, uh, it's. It's not the best. It's not the best unit out there, but hopefully it'll do. Anyway, where are we off to again? So, St. John's, was it? So, we're going to Canada. Dropship has arrived. Okay, off we go. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Staying in cover is a way of staying alive. <laughs> no shit! Wow, there's like... Some of the, have you ever noticed tips in computer games are really dumb? The, they seem to be written uh, with the sort of outlook that people playing games are all morons for some reason. And I know... I know, it, you know, you do come across people who can be a bit dense sometimes, but honestly, I don't think a majority of gamers are ever like that. Okay, it always starts off with the sniper. I assume snipers must have a pretty high initiative. Or something. We can open this door, which is either going to go really well or really badly right from the off. Okay. We're good. Okay, okay, Lou. You take the other side. We're going we're gonna to take this building. We're going to secure the building. Okay. She's going to stand there. She's gonna be, she's just gonna be ready to shoot whatever comes out of it, right? And, okay, Nielsen. Yeah. Open the door, Nielsen. You've got zombies near your position, strike one. Which means zombies. Far behind. We need to find out where these things are coming from on the double. Objectives. Ah, zombies are not good. Actually, zombies. <laughs> zombies are quite bad. Uh, they are not the best thing to come up against because uh, I think they do eventually uh, hatch a chrysalid from their from their horrible little forms. Oh! Look, oh! Wow! Okay, right, we got a zombie. Uh, there's more zombies. Go on, Lou. Wow! He got sniped and machine gunned, and it's still going. Zombies got a lot of hit points. Oh, it's, uh, I mean, it's using the door. That's nice of it. Alright, oh, can you see it? Alright, we'll fucking just blow his head off. Pull that. Poor guy. Nice. Did you put a hole through the... Wow. Jeez, Jesus Christ, that is a powerful sniper rifle. Alright, Congo. Um, shit just got real, and we definitely need to control this building. Alright, okay. So... 
Let's overwatch. Let's get everyone inside the building. It has become a real zombie apocalypse at this point. And we all know in zombie apocalypse situations you find a nice solid building. Uh, although this one does have a few holes in it now, thanks to the, all the gunfire. But anyway, um, that side, we now need to secure the building from the zombie apocalypse. So let's fucking get in there, folks. Let's cover the windows. Get a few boards, get a few nails. Yes, Commander. You check out that map of the world, see how we're doing. I like the fact that apparently all the seagulls are still knocking around. Uh, apparently the seagulls just like, yeah, zombies. Apparently the zombies don't want to eat the seagulls. Um, can she jump? I can't remember. I think she can, can't she? can just like I'm leap. If we get her on the rooftop, that would be useful. Uh, yeah, she could throw a battle scanner, so... Let's, get a better view. Let's see if there's, or how many, because there's going to be someone over there. Right, okay. Um, come on, Congo. I kind of wanted you looking out the window, mate, but it's alright, you know. It's, it's your first day on the job, isn't it, mate? Orders confirmed on the move. Get, get into that corner. And cry. <laughs> Shoulder tackle the door. It's a little bit tense, this, because this is like there are all these fucking zombies wandering around outside. You know, chrysalids, as, as the briefing just said, there's going to be chrysalids outside, guys. Watch out. So I do kind of expect the chrysalids to start popping up in a second, and that's not going to be pretty. Uh, right. you, you reload for this round. Does it, like, does it count? No, no, it doesn't. Okay. Heading to that location. I kind of wish he could shoot doors. Like shoot the door open, maybe that would be useful. Alright, we're just going to collateral damage this building. Okay. There is nothing in there. Ready to rock. This is fine, this gives everyone a chance to reload the gear. There they come. And Congo! Wow! Congo hit! Holy shit! He hit something! I mean, he didn't kill it, but he hit it! I mean, it's a step in the right direction. And of course, the sniper apparently can't see this guy, because that would be normal. Oh. 100%! Wow, okay. Laser pistol. Oh yeah, fucking reload, man. Yeah, obviously, yeah, Gypsy's gonna reload. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not taking any precautions. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not taking any Again, risky actions when there's chrysalids involved, because these bastards suck. There we go, look at this. Ah, oh, you don't get it with that. Yeah, I don't blame you for missing it that range. See, this is what happens when you watch too much Twilight. It's not chrysalids, really, it's just, like, you know, it's just what these films do to you, because they're so dumb. Not the people watching it, just the films. I mean, Christ, have you, like, I... Like the same caliber of writing as fucking Aragon, and people was like apparently going wild for this shit. Wow, nice. Being a bit abrasive tonight. Oh, I guess I'm, I'm just in that mood. As you know, with anything, it's all opinion. So there's plenty of people out there like, oh, do you like this shit? Oh, that's fucking awful. Yeah, it will give you an idea. I've got a load of fucking Transformers uh, masterpiece figures on my computer desk. You know, they cost a small fortune, but they're good. I like, I like them. Yeah. Just as someone can like someone like Twilight. You know, that's just all opinion. All opinion, all the time. Height definitely seems to be the right way to go about this. I mean, this, Jesus, 
I wonder, is this like a rib on 30 days a night? Like, oh, the fishing town has gone completely dark and oh, we don't know what it could be. Uh, it's fucking vampires. Okay. I'm no fisherman, but something about that shark just doesn't look right. What, you mean because it's dead and it's got something like pulsating inside it? Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd have to agree with you there, sir. Alright, well, we'll get Lou over there with a rocket and uh, she, she can sort out that fucking pulsating shark. Or maybe Gypsy. Maybe Gypsy can sort out the pulsating shark. In fact, Gypsy would be the best first person to come up against it because... Um, okay, we'll just reload for this turn. Flaa de Knock him down. Pick him up, Joe. Knock him down again. For anyone who's watched uh, Mystery Science Theatre. I salute you. That show was amazing. Why did it have to end? Well, here we go. We should probably let Dr. Vallon know about this. What? A chrysalid? chrysalid and a shark is enough for them to overrun this town, though. Keep an eye out for anything else the chrysalids might be nesting in. Seagulls. They're inside all of the seagulls. Headshot. Yeah. Fuck you, insect boy. Uh, so what, we're gonna have to chase down every, like, shark? Every shark's gonna have a chrysalid inside it? Because that's gonna get old fast. There's a really big one here, and that wasn't, that wasn't moving. What the fuck is that? Is that supposed to be, like, a huge tuna or something? It's fucking massive. Uh, okay, um... Well, we won't... I'm not, I'm not gonna give up this position, because... The further that the alien, that the alien has to run at me, the... Well, that's not pulsating, is it? So... Uh, okay, so you can go back there. You've you've scouted that. You did a good job. I'm quite sure he's called why he's called Congo. Is he called Congo because he's a fan of this? Oh shit! Oh Christ! Look at him go! Oh no, they're so close. Shit! Um, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it made me feel better. Grenade! Is it both? Oh no, no, definitely 69. If she misses this now, oh, oh, she did. Oh, was that? Oh, was that just a fucking? Oh, mother. Oh. He's got the stun thing now. I know chrysalids are immune to stun. But here we go. Okay, all right, nearly got it. Uh, shit, I don't know if we can use a, a grenade after he's run, but, um, alright. How far can he legitimately run? Sounds okay, he can run here at least. Alright, okay. I don't know why I say legitimately run, it's not like there's like an illegitimate yeah. way of running, is there? Okay, that gets rid of one. And it got him the promotion. It's just now she's gonna get fucking slammed by this thing, that's gonna be so annoying. No, Lou! Ow! Seven... Ow! Seven damage! Ow, that... Oof. Oh, that's harsh. Take it out, Congo. Nice. Nailed him. Let's do this. She's going to take another round of poison damage now. Uh, stop getting poisoned. Okay. Do, 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 do. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it. Ah, poison cured. That's what we all say. Uh, well... They're all melee opponents, so it doesn't matter whether she's in or out of cover. I'm just going to spend the next couple of turns now just healing her back up, because I really don't want a situation where she gets dropped by a chrysalid like, just wandering out of nowhere, laying an egg inside her. Don't move. You'll be fine. 
Oh, no, oh, 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 Christ. Well, that is the first half hour broadcast. Um, follow me with the jump over to part two of this part, which I think is 11. The next one will be 11. Anyway, thanks for watching at the moment. See you in the next one.